Okay, in this video we'll just look at uh, some examples with of in it. And remember that of means multiply, so we'll do these examples. Then we'll look at when you're asked, when you're given a number and you've got to square it, what do you do? Then we'll look at some distributive property examples with fractions, these three examples. And so let's start with when you've got find two thirds of 36. <coughs> now you might remember that of means multiply. Of course you can try and do that in your head. I mean, what do you think one third of 36 would be? One third of 36? 36 by is it 12, right? So two thirds would be 24. Anyway, but we can calculate that a little bit easier with math because if of means multiply, then two thirds of 36 becomes two thirds multiplied by 36, right? And can you write 36 as a fraction? Well, let's do it now. 36 over 1, right? And um, it's kind of nice to cross cancel first before you multiply because it kind of simplifies things a bit. So, doesn't 3 go into 36? So, what about 3 into 3 goes once? Look at this. 3 into 3 goes how many times? Once. 3 into 6? Twice, right? <coughs> so, this gives us 2 times 12. 24 over 1 times 1 is 1, and what does that give? 24 divided by 1 is 24, right? Okay, how about this guy? What is 2 fifths of the sum of 8 and 12? Ha! Huh, the sum of 8 and 12, what's that? Have you ever heard of that? The sum of something is when you add, okay? So the sum of 8 and 12 is in fact 8 plus 12. And just to be uh, a little bit theoretical, two fifths of this would be two fifths times that. And you can't just, like, to completely times it by the sum, you would have to put parentheses around that. You see what I mean? Because the sum of 8 and 12 is 20, you see, and we should be getting two fifths of 20. Two fifths times 20, right? So anyway, the of there turned into multiply. Um, so anyway, two fifths times twenty turned twenty into a fraction. Twenty over one, right? Now multiply and cross cancel, then multiply. See what happens. Five into five goes once. Five into twenty goes four times. So that gives us. 8 over 1, which is 8, right? How about this guy? 4 fifths of 1 quarter of 55. There's two ofs in there. And to turn that directly into math, here's what you do. You'll probably guess it. 4 fifths times 1 quarter. Because Four fifths of a quarter is four fifths times a quarter. And then this of, you know, 55 is times that by 55. The other thing is, you might want to turn 55 into a fraction. Turn 55 into a fraction. 55 over 1, right? Now cross cancel common factors, see what happens. If you cross cancel common factors, how about the fours? Are they a four in the top, four in the bottom? See that? So four into four goes once, four into four goes once. How about what else have we got? Five and fifty-five? Five to five goes once. Five into fifty-five? Eleven, isn't it? So we get one times one times eleven, that's eleven. Over one times one times one is one. And eleven over one is 11. Alright. So let's so let's have a look at what do you do if they say okay the number x is this column and then what's the square x squared? Well first of all you just start with one number at a time. So you don't get too confused. Because look, what they're saying is if the number is two, what's the square? Well the square of that is two squared, right? Simple as that. You just put a squared on it. You can put it in parentheses if you want to. 
Oh, it doesn't matter. 2 squared then, of course, is 4, right? And you calculate that. Oh, sorry, I should have written that out because it's 2 times 2, isn't it? 2 squared is 2 times 2, which is 4. Okay, then we go to 3. What's the square of 3? Well, it's 3 to the power of 2, right? And that gives us 3 times 3, which is 9. Okay, get the square root of 4 now. X is 4, what's X squared? Isn't it 4 squared? Yep, which is 4 times 4, which is 16. Okay. How about these guys, a half, a third, and a quarter? Well, let's just start with one at a time. Start with a half. If the number is a half, what's the square or x squared? Well, it is whatever that number is, and I'm going to use parentheses, whatever that number is squared. So you just take a half and you square it. Now we did these already. If you square a half, the square is on the parentheses, so that's parentheses times parentheses. In other words, one half times one half, which is multiply the tops, one, multiply the bottoms, four, one quarter, right? How about a third? One third, and then we've got to get one third squared, don't we? So one third squared is one third times a third, right? I'll calculate that and then try the quarter. So one third times a third, one times one is one, three times three is nine. How about a quarter? Can you do that one by yourself? One quarter, if I square that guy, we'll be getting a quarter of a quarter. That's going to be a small number, isn't it? One quarter times a quarter, one quarter of a quarter. Give me a quarter of a quarter. Hmm, well, here's a quarter. If I ask for a quarter of a quarter, it's not much money, is it? That's that's not even a, a whole uh, a cent amount. It's one sixteenth of a dollar. Okay. It's, uh, it's about six and a quarter cent is what it is. But anyway, um, this thing to notice, of course, one of the things you can notice about this is, look, when you've got fraction, a fraction like a quarter, and you get you squared it, you get a smaller number, don't you? You see, if you've got a third and you squared it, a ninth is smaller. If you take a half and square it, you get a quarter, and that's smaller than the half. But when you've got these numbers that are, start with these numbers that are bigger than one, like two, if you square two, you get four, if you square three, you get nine, that's more, if you square four, you get sixteen, that's more. So fra squared fractions become less and squared whole numbers become more, do you see that? Alrighty, and now we'll just look at, now we'll just look at the distributive property with fractions. Let's go to quickly review the distributive property. If you have 2 times 4 plus 6, you might want to just use PEMDAS because PEMDAS, the order of operations says you've got to add, do the parentheses first, sorry, you've got to do parentheses first. So you're going to add inside there and you get 2 times 10, right? Obviously, 2 times 10 is 20. So that's one way of doing it. The distributive property says if you want, you can multiply the 2 in against this number and then this number. So you can get uh, 2 times 4 plus 2 times 6. Okay. And 2 times 4 is 8. 2 times 6 is. Or, aha, start again. 2 times 4 is 8. 2 times 6 is 12. And 8 and 12 gives. It's the same thing, isn't it? Right? So the distributive property does indeed work where you take this number and multiply it by everything inside there. Okay. Um, another quick way to look at it is if you had a bag, okay, and then inside the bag there is an apple and a banana. Okay, that's a bag with an apple and a banana in there. If somebody put the number 10 outside here, what are they trying to communicate? See, it's kind of like, uh, let me draw you a picture. It's kind of like Here's a bag. Here's an apple. Here's a banana. Okay. 
and if somebody comes along and draws writes the number 10 there right beside the bag what are they trying to say are they trying to say there's 10 bags right 10 bags and so that means there's going to be 10 apples plus 10 bananas does that make sense yep so if I was doing 10 times a plus b I could take this 10 and multiply it in here and here and I get 10a plus 10b 10 apples and 10 bananas anyway that's it the distributive property so if I had 4 times this thing the 4 is touching the parentheses so I've got to multiply the 4 times this and then times this Okay. now 4 times 3 hey that's 12 let's just write that down but then I've got so I've, I've done the 4 times 3 then I'm going to do 4 times 3 quarters right so I get 4 times 3 is 12 and then 4 times that is that and now I'm going to calculate this now hold on a second can you write 4 as a fraction 4 as a fraction is 4 over 1 right can you cross cancel common factors yes indeed 4 into 4 goes once 4 into 4 goes once so you've got this is 12 and then it's minus and then you mul you've got see you're, you're following the order of operations PEMDAS so you're multiplying here see 1 times 3 is 3 over 1 times 1 I guess you could write 3 over 1 which is just 3 isn't it so it's 12 minus 3 and the answer of course is uh, 12 minus 3 the answer of course is 9 right now this example um, 18 times this guy we've got to use the distributive property so I'm going to multiply 18 in here and here so I'll get 18 times 2 thirds minus 18 times 1 ninth now what I'd like you to do I guess is write 18 as a fraction at this step the next step write 18 as a fraction how about 18 over 1 see that in both uh, places and then cross cancel common factors right so there's what about this 3 into 3 goes once 3 into 18 goes 6 times right so you get 6 times 2 12 over 1 times 1 is 1 how about this guy that's of course 12 isn't it 12 over 1 is just 12 so 12 minus what well let's see 9 into 9 goes once 9 into 18 goes 2 times so I get 2 times 1 which is 2 over 1 times 1 which is 1 so you just get your know, 12 minus 2 which is 12 minus 2 10 right so this thing becomes 10 